Oh, he's got it. He's not got a hook in his mouth, though. There we go. Oh, baby pike. Or is it a perch? Oh, it's a perch. There's one. Yeah, there we go. Right, what is going on, guys? So I'm back out on my e rider kayak today, and we are doing basically the same as what I always do, but we're fishing with small baits today. Normally fish with big baits. I've, every time I've been here, I've been here three times before, every time I've got seven fish. And I've always used big lures. So we're using small ones today. We're gonna to see if we can catch more, because I normally miss a ton of bites. So if we're using small, hopefully we'll get the same amount of bites, but don't miss the fish. So yeah, that's the plan anyway. We'll see what happens. It's pretty sunny. Uh, so yeah, that might make things harder. But yeah, we'll see what happens. There's a fish. That does not take long. It's only tiny. Oh, wow, he's choked that bait though. No way. <laughs> oh, yes. Whoa, that's the sort of size I were expecting to catch, to be fair, but. There we go. I'm a small lure. Come here, baby. Whoa, that is a cold fish. Oh, he's barely hooked actually. We had the full bait in his mouth. I want to first get him. Oh, there we go. First fish. Little pounder. Nailed into it. Okay, that's first fish out of the way anyway. Fourteen sent me a coffee perch. I think that's a 10 gram head. Yeah, 10 gram jig head. And uh, yeah. Hit that well hard then. The goal is to get at least seven, because every time I've fished this place, I've had seven pike. So I want to see if I get, get more than that, or at least the same amount. Could probably do with chucking a lighter jig on, to be fair. I think I'm going to downsize to the 11 centimeter as well because I want to catch something on the, the even smaller size. So yeah, I'll stick one of them on. And if there's a really big perch about, I still could get bit by one. So yeah, go for the 11. Yes, that was like fifth cast. Look how small that one is. And that's the sort of fish that I'm missing from using the big stuff. Okay, that's fish number two. <laughs> yes, bro. Awesome. First time using this size of this bait. And that one just nailed it then. Look how small that fish is. <laughs> See you, buddy. Whew. I usually come to this place and when I'm fishing with the bigger stuff, I'm normally getting loads and loads and loads of hits. And it's probably fish like that that I'm just no chance of hooking. So, yeah, nice, nice to downsize. Use a lighter rod, get a bit of sport. Probably a lot of fish that size around. Quick little bait change. Go for this finesse fillet. Slightly longer. Super thin profile. I'm not sure how I'll cast it on this rod to be fair, but we'll see. Ah, it's not too bad actually. Not too bad. Five gram on this one again. Yeah, let's see if we get a pike on it. I like to add pike. Take these before. I've never actually landed one on one, so yeah. We'll see how we get on for a few minutes anyway. If I don't get anything, we'll switch her up. All right, cows. There we go. 
Oh, baby bike. Or is it a perch? Oh, it's a perch. Fucking boat flipping that. Oh, yes. Okay, there's the first perch on the kite. Look at the size of the bait for it. 15 centimeter finesse fillet. Oh, that is so good. Oh, yes, I thought that was like a tiny pipe, but it's a beauty perch. Nailed that. Well happy with that fish. <laughs> That's the beauty of such a thin profile bait, man. They just get this guy back first. See, boy. I mean, it's not a huge fish at all, but it totally engulfed that bait. <laughs> I thought that was a tiny pike then, but no, it's just a small perch. Sweet as. I'll take that over a pike any day. Right then. 14 centimetre coffee roach, 10 gram jig head because I think that's the only one, the only weight I've got that actually fits this size of bait on me at the minute, which is a shame really, but yeah, we can make it work. We'll just get the rod up, fish a bit quicker, see if we get another fish. Yeah, this water is so clear today, there's a sunken boat on the bottom that I've never even seen before there. Crazy. Ooh, 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 he missed it. He's behind it. Oh, he's got mange. He's manged. Come on, catch this one just to have a look. It's a mangy pike, this. Oh, he's got it. He's not got a hook in his mouth, though. He's got the bait in his mouth, but he's not got a hook. Get a hook to it anyway. Wait till he turns it round. Right. I'm just letting him swallow it. He's got the bait in his mouth. I'm just going to let him take it a bit because he's not got a hook point in his mouth before I set the hook. Bit weird for lure fishing, I know, but he's sat there with the bait in his mouth, and I can see the hook points not in his mouth. <sighs> okay, he's not swallowing it. Okay, I've got him. I've got him. This pike has got damage though. Oh, it's not too bad. He's got something wrong with him on his side. Come here, buddy. <laughs> Letting a bite develop on a lure that long. Oh, it seems healthy in ways he's fighting, but I'll let me show you his side when I get him in. If my net wasn't stuck. Yank. Oh. Yeah, he's got fung a wee wound where he's been scraped off. He's got a bit of his jaw missing. Yeah, not looking too healthy. You can see he's got some lip damage as well. Oh, he's got a treble down his throat as well. Okay, this pike's been through the wars. So someone's caught him, scraped his side up, damaged his lip, and then to boot, cut the line because he's deep hooked. That's lame, isn't it? So, right, my hook's out. There we go. Out of the way. Oh yeah, you should be able to see that treble in there. It's not in his stomach or his gills, it's just very lightly in the edge. Like look how easy that was to get out and someone's cut that and left it in. <sighs> okay, there we go, we've got the treble out of him. I'll have a look at that in a sec. There's pike number three, fish number four. It's quite a long one, pretty lean, but yeah, like mouth damage and side damage isn't cool, but we'll get him back. He seems very healthy anyway, strength wise. And there he goes. Cool watching that in his clear water. So, yeah, looking at that treble, the split rings opened up. So, maybe that's what happened. Maybe they had a cheap layer with cheap split rings and the split ring opened up. It's been in there a while, as you can tell by how rusty it is. But yeah, we got it out of him, so it should be alright now. Put that in my bag, get rid of that when we uh, get home. That's my third pike landed anyway. Um, fourth fish. All the Every fish I've caught has been on a different lure today as well, which is kind of cool. But yeah, that was uh, an interesting catch. Keep moving. I hope you caught all that on camera, because that was uh, yeah, pretty cool. So, 
yeah, going back with this Xander skin, we're in the smaller size. It's like a perfect representation of a clear water perch, even though it's, you know, a Xander pattern. It does look like a clear water perch to me, so yeah, give that a whirl. Might get a big perch on that as well. That was cool to watch him following that. Come here, buddy. Uh, yes! Look at that. Absolutely choked. Pretty easy on knocking. Oh yeah, there's pike number four, fish number five. You see it's had a hook ripped out of his top lip before by someone, but there he goes. Still pretty healthy. Tiny fish that, but I'm happy. Took it really nice. There's a fish. Oh, it's off. Oh, I just adjusted my motor when that took it then, so I didn't get a good hook set, but there was one that was on. <laughs> Tiny pike again, that one back is it there's a little probably the same size as that last one i just caught let's get another hit there one eternity later there's one yes done Just switch to a bigger bait. I've got a small fish. <laughs> Whoa. Strong fish again. There we go. Yes. Didn't think I was going to get one. Two guys just trolled past me in a boat. Uh, so I figured they'd probably catch them if they're any feeding. But oh, I got one. I managed to get a bow hooked in his mouth as well. Players are here though. Back hook is out too. No damage to fish. Sweet. There we go. Not massive, but put such a good fight that little guy. See you, bud. Just stopped using the little lures because I've wrapped that video up. <laughs> yeah, like three cats later with a big one. Bang. That's fun. Alright, guys, that is going to do it for this video. Started off strong and yeah, ended slow. I've not had a fish for probably like an hour and a half now. So yeah, we're calling it. Um, landed a few fish, missed a few fish, had a lot of follows, but the water's been really clear. It's been close guys, so yeah, that makes it difficult. But we had fun, like I say, I normally use big lures just cause that's what I have more confidence in and tend to enjoy fishing with more. But you know, I can't, probably had the similar amount of contacts with the smaller lures as what I had with the big, bigger ones. So yeah, it's just a confidence thing really. So yeah, that's gonna do it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll catch you in the next one.